G'day Flute Rockstars, welcome to our, our first video of a six part um, video series on how to play your flute. Um, now you've already had your introductory lesson so you know pretty much um, what to do with this part of the flute. However, just to recap, I'm going to take you through a few of the steps that we um, went through in class. And so with this head joint, what you're going to do is you're going to try and position it underneath your bottom lip. So remember to pull the corners of your mouth back and create a very small hole between your lips. Um, your bottom lip will protrude across the hole about a third, so really not much at all. If it's any more than that, you're not going to get the right sound. Um, and you're going to blow down um, and out and not really hard. So something like this. Now as we talked about, you can use your tongue to start that note, so simply by saying tu, 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 you'll get a, a start on the note, so it sounds like this. And as you get better at that, you can experiment, so you can use your tongue to create little rhythms and, um, and, and separate notes. You can then um, experiment by taking your hand off the end of the flute, and so this will produce a higher tone which requires faster air and a smaller hole between your lips. So you can experiment with that. Um, the idea is to get more sound in your notes, so not so much breath, um, which might sound like If you're getting that sound it means you're either not pointing the air um, down enough um, and you're really aiming for the other side of the hole, so when I'm blowing across here I'm aiming for the, for the opposite um, edge of the hole um, and if you're getting that breathy sound it's probably also because you're blowing a bit too hard so on the low notes you've got to um, emit quite a soft and slow stream of air, and for the high notes, obviously, if your um, hole in the, between your lips is smaller, then you're going to get um, a faster flow of air, and you're going to be able to get those high notes on the flute. So good luck with that, and we'll see you for video number two.